Tom, her partner of nine years, had a months-long affair with their friend and Vanderpump Rules co-star Raquel Levis. I feel for everybody involved, well, except for those two. I don't feel for them at all. Anyone on the cast that you'd want to be part of your throupleness? Oh, man, I don't know. I've never even really thought of that, honestly. Did that already happen? <laughs> no, dude, no. Uh, no, no. Tom Sandoval is in big trouble for cheating on Ariana Maddox. He's been caught in an affair with their castmate Raquel Levis. For months, they've been sneaking around the cameras, having late night sleepovers when Ariana is gone, and even kissing out in public with no regard for Ariana's feelings. Now the show is divided as the other woman, Raquel, threatens to sue everybody. So let's get into it. So we need to talk about what is going on with Vanderpump Rules because this situation involving Tom Sandoval, Ariana, and Raquel has gotten incredibly messy. Tom, her partner of nine years, had a months-long affair with their friend and Vanderpump Rules co-star Raquel Levis. On the evening of March 3rd, the internet blew up when TMZ broke the news that one of reality TV's favorite couples, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval had split and that Sandoval was having an affair with Raquel. If you guys don't know anything about Vanderpump Rules, do not worry, I will catch you up to speed. The show is about profiling young, attractive servers and bartenders at the restaurant owned by Lisa Vanderpump. Lisa Vanderpump is a former Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, and I've actually been to her restaurants. They are pretty nice. The food's, you know, mid. It's not, it's good. I mean, it's decent. Anyways, Tom Sandoval plays a bartender on the show trying to make it as an actor, and he's one of the main characters of season one. Ariana is featured in a couple episodes as a guest until she's made a series regular. I think part of the reason why she got onto season two was because they were in a relationship, and they confirmed it at the reunion for season two of Vanderpump Rules. It is later revealed that the relationship over Overlapped with Sandoval's relationship with another cast member named Kristen. Already you can see that there are signs of cheating because, I mean, he's in a relationship with Kristen and he's starting one with Ariana, which I feel like if I was Ariana, I would note that, you know, that's how he started the relationship. That's probably how he's going to end it with me. The thing I realized, especially with being with Ariana most, is that if you have respect for the other person, you respect their intelligence, their opinion, their views, that really makes a huge difference. You see when people go to the dark side. Now let's talk about when Raquel comes into the picture, because currently she is public enemy number one in the Vanderpump Rules world. So Raquel Levis made her first appearance in episode one of season five, and she was introduced as the girlfriend of James Kennedy. James and Raquel were together for a long time, especially for Hollywood and reality TV standards. Actually in May 2021, Raquel and James Kennedy got engaged, and Sandoval Lynn James $25,000 to pay for a Coachella themed proposal in Palm Springs. Knowing everything that's going down, it's crazy to see that Tom pretty much like funded Raquel's engagement with James Kennedy. Their engagement lasted a little over six months. They put out a statement in December 2021 that they are calling off their relationship. Now let's skip to April 2022. At this point, Tom Sandoval and Ariana are still together, but he is seen in a photo that Raquel posts and she captions it, I'm on an island, which is pretty foreshadowing. By summer 2022, the rumors begin, and of course, Reddit is the first one to really start uncovering this story. A series of removed Reddit threads allege that the seven-month-long affair gets hot and heavy over the summer. There's a claim that the affair takes place while Ariana is at home and sleeping, and there's another rumor that Ariana nearly catches them on at least one occasion, where she sees Sandoval exiting the room in the middle of the night. And of course, he had an excuse for her. He claims that he was actually getting her a cup of water just in the middle of the night in her room for 
you know, we actually know the reason now, but for whatever reason. There's a lot of information in these Reddit threads. I mean, supposedly he was trying to leave Ariana, but he couldn't because um, of the restaurant, the house, and her grandpa was dying at this point, so she needed support. Supposedly they were telling each other that they loved each other. The band that he's in knew of this because they were hooking up. And supposedly Ariana was suspicious about this for months because if you're in a relationship and like you're the man you were with for years is you know acting different you you probably know that there's something up now going into august 2022 it gets really messy because there are reports that raquel is seen kissing another tom from the show tom schwartz at sheena shea's wedding the headlines read that vanderpump rules star tom schwartz made out with raquel levis at sheena shea's wedding amid his divorce from katie katie's another person who he was in a relationship for a long time so this entire cast is obviously really messy and overlapping constantly in their personal life and on the show. Now in September, we see some fishy posts that would probably have me upset if I was Ariana. Raquel posted a video of her and Sandoval, and you can see that she is on top of his shoulders at this festival. Then in October 2022, fans started to notice that these two actually had matching lightning bolt necklaces. Both Raquel and Sandoval are wearing these necklaces and it's clear that it's some type of like bond between them which people caught on to you can also see that they spend halloween together and tom actually dressed up as raquel which um seems like a couple's thing to do tom and raquel have been playing in our faces this whole time if you go to her instagram and click on her halloween highlight you'll see that it's all tom there he is. He's wearing a costume, which was Raquel Fangirl, her BravoCon Tom Tom sweater. There he is again. This is Tom's girlfriend at the time that Raquel was best friends with while banging her man behind her back. Guess who's here again? Tom. Oh, another one, Tom. There he is again, Tom. Tom uh, made a, a, a spoof photo of Raquel as his own phone background. Um, a mess. Um, then you're going to see him again pop up real soon. There he is. Like her whole highlight is dedicated to this man. Like imagine that's your man and the next girl has a highlight. So at this point, people are questioning what's going on here as they should because there's something very off. Ariana actually responds to rumors that she and Sandoval are in an open relationship. She said they are not in an open relationship. And that seems like something they need to communicate about because he's over here doing press and it seems like pretty washy when he speaks about their relationship. I mean, it doesn't seem like he's genuine when he's saying that they're all good. The other thing heard around the world, uh, yeah, you and Ariana are in an open marriage in the trailer. I, 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 tell me about this openness. What's going on between you two? Well, um, we are, uh, we're doing good. Um, we are not in an open relationship. <laughs> Anymore. Yeah, I mean, that was last week. I'm oh, kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, no, we're, 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 we're chilling. You know, we're both very busy. We both have things going on. We still make time for each other. And uh, yeah. This reporter had to know that something was going on because his next question was so uncomfortable. You guys ever did a thruple? Anyone on the cast that you'd want to be part of your thrupleness? Oh man, I don't know. I've never even really thought of that, honestly. Did that already happen? <laughs> no, dude, no. Uh, no, no. That was a reference to like season five. Yeah. Anyways, um, oh yeah, Lala? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, we're doing great. I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Imagine if he just, you know, opened up right there and shared it all. It probably would have made everything else after this point a lot easier. So in February 2023, we see that Raquel is gushing over her new best friend, Tom Sandoval. She's quoted saying, he's just so in touch with himself and fully accepting of who he is and is so confident. I feel like he looks at me like a little sister and is so supportive, which, ew, now knowing what we know, like, ew, why are you saying, like, a sister? Like, ugh, gosh, gross. And then we get to March, and this is where everything starts to fall apart, because 
Ariana, I guess, is going through Tom's phone and she sees an explicit video from Raquel on his device. Ariana then uncovers the affair and calls Raquel, who had just finished taping Watch What Happens Live. At this point, multiple sources have come forward to outlets claiming that this affair between Tom Sandoval and Raquel had been going on for at least several months. Quote, this has been going on for upward of six months, all while Tom was sleeping next to Ariana in bed. An insider told the outlet that Raquel had slept over at Tom and Ariana's house when Ariana had been out of town. And clearly Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox are having major issues in their relationship if this is happening. They write Sandoval and Maddox have had issues for some time and have been trying to work them out. The source said there had been too many instances where Ariana felt like Tom disrespected her and she finally ended things. The friend group hopes that the two can work things out, but she's telling friends it's over. According to the reports out there, the video was a selfie, a selfie, selfie video of Raquel, which Ariana saw, and then she scrolled through past texts and saw a lot of inappropriate messages. Do you think you're guilty of trolling Katie by posting, th posting things she'll inevitably feel hurt by, like you wearing Tom Tom swag? No, because I'm just trying to live my life, and I'm sorry if that offends people, but it's not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. Yeah. So at this point, Sheena is filming with Raquel and afterwards they hang out. But then Ariana is calling Raquel and confronting her about this like relationship. So then they start getting heated. Headlines read, inside Sheena Shea and Raquel Levis's heated confrontation about Tom Sandoval affair. So after taping Watch What Happens Live, Sheena and Raquel went out for a few drinks with friends. At one point in the night, Sheena lost Raquel and then found her outside the bar on the phone with Ariana, who Sheena could hear was bawling. At this point, Sheena was like, girl, what is going on? And asked for an explanation. And so Raquel told her what had been going on while she was still on the phone. So Ariana heard it all. A heated confrontation ensued following the revelation. They went back to the hotel separately and haven't seen each other since. On Friday, TMZ broke the news that Levis had been carrying on a months long affair with none other than her fellow castmate, restaurateur, and a Inspiring musician Tom Sandoval. After the news breaks, the internet freaks out and all the cast members have things to say and a lot of them are team Ariana. I mean Kristen is and Kristen is Tom's ex so she <laughs> she's um you know petty for this one. She found a selfie of her and Ariana and posted hashtag team Ariana. So as soon as the news breaks people are looking for Tom trying to ask him what's up and Paparazzi found him, and when he spoke to them, he just pretty much gaslit Ariana. That's exactly how she felt. Tom saying that he didn't tell her about the affair because he was worried about how it would impact her mental health, even claiming that he was especially concerned after her grandma died last year. Her grandmother died last year in September 2022, which prompted her to go to Florida to spend time with her family. And at this point, Ariana was sleeping over at their house when she was out of town. I feel for everybody involved. Well, except for those two. I don't feel for them at all. So a lot of people are sending Ariana love, but they're sending Tom Sandoval and Raquel hate. The internet goes on to Schwartz and Sandy's Yelp website and leave bad reviews. This is a business owned by Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval. This pretty much forced Tom Sandoval to make a statement. It's interesting to see how he doesn't bring up the scandal at all. I mean, He's kind of addressing it, but he's really focused on the business and how this affects his business, and he's trying to protect that, which kind of rubs people the wrong way because they really just want some acknowledgement and accountability for what he's done to Ariana. One day after Sandoval issued a lame apology that his co-stars and fans aptly pointed out did not mention his longtime partner, he was photographed by TMZ entering Levis's apartment. Did he really mean it if he's over at Raquel's place the next day? I mean, it just seems like damage control. Some of the investors of this business, Schwartz and Sandys, goes public and they start uh, yelling at people online. So I guess like, you know, all caps and telling them to leave them alone because they are a business trying to make a living and they have nothing to do with this scandal. But when you see how dismissive Sandoval is to the press and to everyone involved, it's kind of hard not to be outraged. Why, why do you feel like you're getting so much heat considering I've watched the show, like I'm not gonna lie, I, I really had no clue about the show like that much. 
And now that I've watched a lot, of, everyone cheated on the show. Why do you think you're getting the most heat out of like everyone else that's cheated on? Oh, I just think it was really unexpected. Okay. So just because it came out of nowhere and... Yeah. Okay. At this point in time, it wasn't looking good for Raquel either because supposedly she had a crisis PR strategy that was leaked through Dumoy, indicating that she intends to lay blame at the feet of others for her role in this affair, claiming that her explicit FaceTime video was illegally filmed and that she's a victim of manipulation and abuse. Because the video that <laughs> pretty much got Sandoval exposed was recorded and they have their copy because it's their proof. So all of this drama is going down and everyone's hoping that the cameras are on because they want to see it play out on the show. James Kennedy confirms on March 6th that they are filming extra episodes for season 10. Andy Cohen confirms that the season had been extended by two weeks because of this drama, which is huge because like a TV program, they're pretty much set in stone. So for this to happen and them to extend a season, like, you know, they're trying to make good TV. Tom Sandoval's ex, Kristen, actually left the show previously, I believe, but now she might come back to support Ariana. Quote, Kristen has put the show behind her, but she's considering it. It'll depend if Ariana wants her to do it and is comfortable as that's the only way she'll ever go back on the show. It's a conversation that she and Ariana are having now. This source also shares that all the girls from Vanderpump Rules have been with Ariana and supporting her. All but Raquel, because Raquel is now the odd one out, and now she's legally threatening other castmates. Levis's lawyers began sending letters to cast members, reportedly imploring that they stop circulating and delete an explicit video of their client that was taken without her knowledge and consent during a FaceTime session with Sandoval. We first learn about this on March 7th because Lala Kent, another cast member, shares that Raquel had sent her a legal threat, claiming that she has this video of this FaceTime call that was recorded and now she's sharing it against her, you know, will. Which is illegal. You can't like share illegally recorded content without someone's consent. But also at the same time, it seems like Raquel is just trying to find something to wrap everyone into this. Lala actually replied to Raquel on Instagram, and this is what she had to say. Alleged that Maddox discovered their affair upon finding this very video on Sandoval's phone. Of course, Lala Kent responded to the letter via a since deleted Instagram Live. She said, Raquel, tell your little Mickey Mouse lawyer that if he has stuff to send over, he can send things to my lawyer. Same with the rest of my friends and Cass, all right? She did delete this video, but it exists because <laughs> welcome to the internet. Lala Kent is one of the cast members that received a letter from Raquel's lawyers. Here is Lala's response to that letter. I believe she's already deleted this video off her social media. Raquel, tell your little Mickey Mouse lawyer that if he has stuff to send over, he can send things to my lawyer. Same with the rest of my friends and Cass, all right? I've never in my life had a lawyer contact me in my personal email all right i don't know if you know how this works i know you're pretty brand new to the game didn't last long look what you did with your 15 minutes you have something to send over you can send it to my lawyer that's why we have counsel okay i don't want to deal i have a life going on i got a little baby to take care of i don't want to see that in the morning I want to see that ever. Send it to Daryl. And it seems like there may be some issues now between Raquel and Tom Sandoval. Maybe Tom Sandoval is trying to save his relationship because they aren't really getting along. Despite his visit to her apartment the other day, she sent a letter to him as well. He's the one that recorded, I guess, the FaceTime because, like, if, you know, if you're on FaceTime, you can't, like, I don't know. It, it's not a video. So he must have recorded it against her, which I'm pretty sure if you're on FaceTime, doesn't it tell you the other person if they're screen recording? I'm like, maybe it doesn't, but wouldn't she know at this point? But I guess, I guess she didn't know about this and now he has it and everyone's seen it. There is a little loophole here because when you sign on to Beyond Vanderpump Rules, you agree that you cannot sue other castmates. So uh, this may just be dead in its tracks because like, you know, it's just a threat at this point because you can't actually go and sue your castmate unless I guess it's illegal, like really illegal. Hmm. 
I guess you would really have to break down what that clause means, but supposedly she's off to a rough start. Now, this is when things get interesting, because remember, Sheena and Raquel had an intense interaction while uh, Raquel was on the phone with Ariana. Well, supposedly, Raquel filed a like restraining order against Sheena, and that's because she's claiming that she's been harassed. Supposedly, they got into this heated confrontation, but we really don't know anything else about this until Raquel shares that she was physically hurt. Raquel's claim that co-star Sheena Shea punched her. Can you say the words, you got served? Yes, Raquel had Andy Cohen deliver Sheena this document ET exclusively obtained, titled Request for Dismissal. It appears to be about the temporary restraining order, but Sheena's lawyer tells ET the papers have no legal meaning. This was just another public relations stunt. I don't know what's going on there. I mean, I, I can't imagine like hitting yourself and like harming yourself. So I guess the law will have to handle that one. But on March 8th, 2023, we get a second apology. Very David Dobrik-like, but um, Sandoval issues an apology and he actually addresses Ariana. He says, I want to first and foremost apologize to everyone I've hurt through this process. Most of all, I want to apologize to Ariana. I made mistakes, I was selfish, and made reckless decisions that hurt somebody I love. At this point, I kind of feel like maybe he's trying to save his relationship with Ariana, but then Raquel does something kind of sneaky. Raquel issues her own apology just a few hours later, but she doesn't do it on Instagram. She goes to Entertainment Tonight, and she says that she's sorry for her actions and choices, and, you know, sorry to Ariana. So she's addressing the affair. She says, I'm not a victim, and I must own up to my actions, and I deeply regret hurting Ariana. I have sought emotional validation through intimate connections that are not healthy without regard for my own well-being. I'm taking steps to understand my behavior and make healthier choices. Good for her. Meanwhile, Raquel told ET in an exclusive statement that she deeply regrets hurting Ariana. Now, Ariana says she is devastated and broken, but she knows she's not in this alone. That's good that she is trying to seek help. And it actually turns out that both of them are in therapy. I guess um, people are following them like paparazzi and saw them going into their therapy appointments. So Sandoval and Levis issued apologies to Maddox within about 12 hours of each other. She claims she's in therapy and has an addiction to love. And Sandoval has also been photographed heading into his therapist's office. So many statements, so many statements for all of this drama and of course Raquel put out another statement on her Instagram because you know let's just keep this all going. Coincidentally later that night Levis made another statement writing that she cared for Sandoval but right now needs time to heal. Her apology kind of makes me feel like they are in a rocky patch and maybe their affair has come to an end. Just the other day on March 23rd, the Vanderpump Rules show filmed their season 10 reunion. So I guess they've been like filming these past few weeks. Supposedly Raquel and Tom Sandoval are fired at from all sides for hours straight. During the reunion, an altercation allegedly takes place and Andy gets involved. The near fight, according to multiple reports, didn't involve Ariana, Sandoval, or Raquel. So, hmm. So there's an altercation that happens, but who's fighting that? Like, who's fighting out here? That was really confrontational. It was really emotional. Nothing was left unsaid. You don't know what's going on between us. Tom was combative. Raquel didn't say much off camera. Filming felt, quote, sad, a relief, but so exhausting. You guys already know that they are milking this for Bravo as they should. I mean, these people signed up for this. And when you are a public figure, you have to be responsible for your actions publicly and privately, especially when you share a lot of your private life. But it seems like Ariana is doing well after all of this. When I have felt like I couldn't even stand, you all have given me the strength to continue and see me through my darkest hours. It's Definitely not easy, but I feel like once you start talking about something, it somehow makes it easier. So I want to hear what you guys think about this situation. Are you guys team Ariana? Are you team Raquel? Team Sandoval? Are you team nobody? Are you going to be watching the reunion? Because I haven't watched the entire season, but I might watch these last few episodes. All things considered, she's in a really good like headspace. She's you know taking care of herself. Um, I saw her yesterday and we're excited. 
I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Here is my email and I will see you in a new video soon. Bye guys.